you're looking for particular ways, particular methods, maybe a process, uh, certain insights into the CompTIA SY0-501 Security Plus. In today's video, I give you an outline, the nine steps I used to get my CompTIA Security Plus. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. I am a cybersecurity student who recently just got CompTIA Security Plus certified. In today's video, I will be addressing the nine sequential steps I used to get my Security Plus in hopes of helping you uh, understand the process that I used. So let's go ahead and get started with step number one. Roughly 90 days before my CompTIA Security Plus exam, after determining that this was the certification I wanted to go after, I, I went 90 days out and I had scheduled my exam. I wrote down this exam date on my calendar, but I did not buy the exam voucher, so I didn't make it official. Uh, I did make that grave mistake because I planned my exam three days before my, my intended date, and there was testing centers uh, that were all booked. I, I luckily found one or two slots open, but I recommend that you take the 90 days and you make it official by buying the exam voucher and also uh, marking down the date and doing that through the Pearson View Testing Center. So that was the first step I took. Uh, I took the 90 days and I took that 90 day threshold and I went out and scheduled that date. Step number two was creating an outline. This outline included two primary things. It included all the learning resources that I was going to use and how often I was going to study. Uh, knowing that consistency is very important, uh, I went ahead and implemented um, can, like the, the times or the certain dates, certain weeks that I wanted to complete a learning resource. I was very happy at the very end of, of my process, my journey of getting the Security Plus um, from doing this outline. It gave me clarity throughout the process. Sometimes I felt like I wasn't doing it right. I went back to my guide, went back to my outline. It was easy to, to follow and I, I recommend that you create an outline with the particular learning resources that you are going to use and how often you are going to learn. Step number three was including the learning resources within that outline. Now I had come up with a few learning resources that I was going to use. I like to divide my learning resources up into primary and secondary. Primary being the ones that I mainly focus on, the ones that I'm going to truly internalize the content, and the secondary content as kind of a complement to the primary content to just kind of reinforce those concepts. So. I, for my first primary learning resource, I used the Pluralsight modules or Pluralsight courses, Security Plus SY0-501 courses. There's six modules uh, taught by industry expert Christopher Reese. And in addition to that primary resource, I also used the CompTIA Security Plus Get Certified Get Ahead by Daryl Gibson. This was uh, my secondary, or uh, my, my primary, my second primary resource. And then for my secondary resources, I had Professor Messer, and I also had some online resources, um, including Cybrary and a, a few other just online exam tests, online exam tests and practice questions. So these were my primary learning resources, my secondary learning resources. I included these in the outline, and I started, and that transitions me into step number four, which was starting with Pluralsight. These Pluralsight modules gave me uh, roughly about five weeks of content learning. Uh, I will give you just a brief summary of what I think of the Pluralsight uh, Security Plus course. I think it is a good course to start out with. I'm glad I started out with it. Uh, the way I did it was I did two Pomodori of learning and two Pomodori of reviewing. Let me go ahead and expand to Pomodori really quickly. Pomodori is 25 minutes of focus work, five minutes of break. I did a video, I'll link in the cards, explaining the Pomodori technique and how often you should learn cybersecurity or how much time you should spend on cyber learning cybersecurity. Put those in quotes. Anyway, so I had used 25 minutes or an hour roughly of focused work. And within that uh, time span, I looked at the videos and wrote down notes in a Google Docs, Docs sheet. And after I was done with those two Pomodori, I would convert those notes on the Google Docs sheet, I can't say Google Docs, but anyway, I, I converted those notes to Quizlet flashcards. I'll link to the Quizlet flashcards down below, and I went through all six modules, put those into Quizlet flashcards, and then reviewed. 
I think this gave me a great summary uh, of what I was learning, and it, it helped reinforce the concepts, and I think that's that's important. Um, do I recommend Pluralsight as your starting resource for the Security Plus? Yes, I do. Do I recommend this resource as your only learning resource? No, I do not. Christopher Reese does a great job of explaining the concepts with clarity, giving you visual aids, but he doesn't really go into the concepts, and in fact, I would say he misses a few of the objectives. Step number five is kind of meshes with step number four. Once I was three modules into the Pluralsight courses, I decided to go ahead and start listening to Professor Messer. Professor Messer offers these live study groups, Security Plus, Network Plus, and A Plus study groups. I particularly listen to the Security Plus study groups, and I had used these study groups as a means to understand and start understanding the, the different ways questions were going to be worded within the certification exam. So I had used these. He usually goes through one performance-based question, and maybe six or seven uh, multiple choice questions, and then he gives uh, an hour of his time for career advice and to answer questions. I had usually gone through all these live replay study groups, uh, and I had used my, this as a secondary resource. Now, what I mean by this is I had, um, when, when I went on my runs or when I was commuting somewhere, I'd be listening to Professor Messer and these, these live replay groups, um, whereas if I was working on Pluralsight, I was focused. So it's a secondary resource. Uh, the, the main concept or the main thing that I really took away from these was how the questions were worded. And so uh, this was something that I, that I highly recommend you look at the live replay groups. And uh, if you are going to look at these, I recommend you start um, now, whenever this is, and go back all the way to October 2017. And then I'd stop there because the ones before October 2017 are the SY0-401. So you want to make sure that you're studying the newest objectives, the most updated exam. Step number six, introduce the second primary learning resource. There you go, second primary learning resource. And for this second primary learning resource, I use the CompCS Security Plus Get Certified, Get Ahead, SY0-501 Study Guide by Daryl Gibson. A student, a fellow student in the community by the name of Colin Kelly, I'll leave a link in the description below for his YouTube channel, had recommended this book. He's a little bit further along in my, in my process, well, at least for the Security Plus, and so he had recommended this book, and I utilized, um, and I took, it, took his insight, and I definitely highly recommend as he outlined in his video uh, I definitely highly recommend this book as, as a primary learning resource. So why do I recommend the CompTIA Security Plus Get Started by Get Ahead book as one of your primary learning resources? Well I think uh, the biggest things are uh, there's 11 chapters and there's sample questions included. The objectives are followed very strictly so the, the, he follows them very well. And also, there's a pre-test and a post-exam test that have sample CompTIA questions uh, in, in the book itself. The biggest takeaways from this book for me personally were the practice questions. I had used this book as a means to um, getting to know like the Professor Messer live study groups. The practice questions, um, what I had done was at the end of each chapter, there's practice questions, and instead of marking them down, I took out a piece of paper and marked down my uh, questions or my, uh, my exam answers because at the end, I went ahead, at the end of the book, I went ahead and redid all of the sample questions again. And so that helped me have a second try at that. Um, I went ahead and did the pre-test and the post-exam test. I did the pre-test uh, before, but then I did a pre-test again after I finished this book. Uh, and also included, I did the, the post-exam test. And there's also an index, which includes all of the um, outlined objectives or the outlined terms, rather. And uh, the biggest thing for me, personally, was the remember this sections. Uh, he includes remember this, and within this little box, he outlines the particular uh, things or concepts that you really need to work on. And so what I would do was I would read those to myself through an audio recording, and then I would play those while I was commuting or exercising. I would just play those as I was going along. So I, I would have a chapter one to chapter uh, 11, remember this, and it was a great way to reinforce those concepts as I was commuting and using
using that. I highly recommend that you take a look at this book. Man, this book was a definitely a game changer. Um, compared to the plural site courses, this was definitely a, a, a means to reinforce, but really get some more detail. So the plural site was a great introductory, and then this adds some more and enforced some more detail. I recommend that, that these books. Step number seven after completing my uh, book here was using some practice questions. I had used examcompass.com, which is an online website that offers CompTIA sample questions. I would say do them. Uh, they offer 25, I believe, tests, and they also offer some side tests. Um, they're free. I would recommend you do them to reinforce the concepts, but I do not recommend that you only study these as your only means to sample questions because they are not very much like the, the exam. Uh, I had also used uh, Daryl Gibson's, of course. I had used his sample questions. Again, use that technique where you go, you take 11 sheets of paper, you mark them down as you go through the chapters, and then you can redo the sample questions again. I had also used a VCE. A VCE was, is a, basically just like a, an extension that allows you to take exams in real time. I had a colleague who sent over a VCE to me with over 300 sample questions. These questions were really a lot harder than even the Daryl Gibson ones. Uh, they definitely mocked the CompTIA Security Plus exam, very much so, uh, and so I used this VCE as a means to getting us. Uh, this VCE is, is on uh, a Udemy course, and I recommend that you also check that Udemy course out just for that VCE. I think it has 300 something questions with performance-based questions, a very good resource as well. You do not have to take my step number eight. Do not do what I did. I, t I did the make a mistake as I had outlined in my step number one. I didn't buy the exam voucher. Uh, I bought the exam voucher two weeks before the exam and I scheduled my exam three days, three days, three days before I was gonna take it. Not a good idea on my part. Um, but I will give you advice for this. When you are going to buy your exam voucher, if you are a student with a .edu email address, you can get 40% off. Um, so it, it definitely recommend the 40% off. That really helped me uh, with the pricing. So I recommend if you have a .edu email address, you get that 40% off. Link in the description below. And on top of that, if you sign up for a plural site, you also get a 10% discount on the exam. So I also, that's kind of an incentive for signing up on the plural site. Link in the description below, of course. And step number nine was the final moments where I had gotten my CompTIA exam. I had gone through the exam. I have a video here explaining how what I think of the test in my journey, learning journey. And I ended up getting my CompTIA Security Plus exam when I found out and I had received these papers. I received a 750, or I'm sorry, a 771 out of 750, accumulating to around an 85%. Uh, and I had gotten these uh, exam papers and one of the things that I did right when I, when I looked at this and I passed and I felt good, but I looked at the things that I got wrong. I recommend whether you pass or you fail, you always look at what you got wrong and go back and understand what you got wrong and what you can improve upon. So those are the nine steps I took to get my CompTIA Security Plus SY0-501. Got it. Uh, I, that's the, the, the steps that I took to get the um, exam. I would recommend, uh, as, as just a few side notes here, a, be consistent. You have to be consistent in your learning process. It is, I would recommend that you only study a certain period of time a day. Don't study six hours a day for three months unless you have to, unless you have the time to. I would recommend just sectioning off one hour of your day to study. That's what I would recommend, and you do that three months before. And then you just consistently do that. So implement consistency, but also implement focused work. Number two, um, use the Security Plus objectives and uh, the, the, the exam itself and the learning process as a learning experience. I think uh, one of the things that I got caught up in was just memorizing maybe the answers or memorizing certain topics and not understanding the learning experience behind this. And as I had gone through my journey, I think understanding that, you know what, whether you pass the exam or not, uh, it's, a, it's a learning experience for you. I think that's very a good insight as, as I was learning through this process. Number three is, uh, and I know I, I can't speak to this through experience yet, and I know it will happen, but 
it's okay if you fail because as I outlined number two, it, it's, it's a learning experience. It's okay if you fail, don't be afraid to fail. I thought I completely failed. I did end up passing, but through my, the given methods and through uh, the, the advice that I had received and the process that I had outlined, I was able to get my CompTIA Security Plus. So anyway, I thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that I can give you some insight into how I got my Security Plus. If you are interested in any other insights, I recommend that you subscribe to the channel. That was cringy. That is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.